Well, the flat season began at Nace and it is at Nace on November the 7th that it will conclude. And ahead of the season finale, I've caught up with Kate Harrington. Kate, just looking at the stats yesterday, the number of runners your mother has ha had on the flat this year versus jumps, it's an extraordinary uh, change in so late in her career. We, can, we think of Moscow Flyer and we think of all these good horses, Max Joy and so forth. And then relatively late in her career, or quite late in her career, she just starts developing a, a penchant to develop, to train really good flat horses. Yeah, I suppose um, it's all kind of happened a bit by, no, no one set out that we're going to go more flat um, over the last couple of years. It's just kind of happened naturally. I suppose we had Sizing John won the Gold Cup when we had the and Super Sunday and Rock the World all won at Cheltenham back in 2017. And then we had Alpha Centauri as a two-year-old that year and then she went on and did such great things. And I think with, with the success of her, we happened to get a lot more flat horses and sadly Anne and Alan Potts passed away. So it was just, it naturally happened and we just kind of rolled with it. And does she enjoy it as much as she ever did with, you know, the days of the Moscow Flyers and so on? I think mum gets a buzz out of any winner. I think, mm. like, even she get a buzz out of, like, Ilmig won in Navin um, during the week, and she got a bigger buzz out of that because it was just for the owner. He'd mm. lost his wife. Jeffrey Roddick, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's just, you get a big buzz that, out of that, as you would say, for a Group 2, Group 3 winner. But then the Group 1s are different kettle of fish. And you've had some very good horses this year, I suppose, thinking of Kane, Pepper, Alpine, Star. Maybe it wasn't Albina's best year, but how would you assess the, the main players this year? Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, like Alpine's winning, um, Ascot was phenomenal, and um, it was Frankie's last race. He had to win at Ascot, and he's, I think, won every other, every mm. group won there, isn't it? And um, then she was just unlucky. She's been second in three group ones since. And I don't even think she's been beaten half a length. They've been next heads, short noses. Incredible and attitude for racing. Yeah, yeah. she certainly, like, she'd die for you. Like, Alpha, comparing to Alpha, Alpha was big, robust. She's small, she's a little terrier. She mm. wants to do it. And then, like, we've the likes of Kay and Pepper. She goes off to the Breeders' Cup now. Really, really exciting. She was great, Irish Champions Weekend. Lucky Vega. Obviously to mention the Colson as well. Yeah, Lucky yeah. Vega. Like, he was brilliant in the Phoenix. Unlucky in the National Stakes and then ran a very good race um, over in Newmarket. And he's a really exciting horse to look forward to. Like, even just at home since he's been left down. Um, he's just transformed, he's just doubled to the source he was this year, so he's even now, like Roni, whatever, end of October, can't wait to see him next spring. That's really exciting. Yeah, yeah um, really, really exciting. And then we also Cadillac, um, he goes to the Breeders' Cup now, he couldn't walk on the ground the last day in Newmarket and he's off to the Breeders' Cup now, so very, very exciting. Shane Foley's come in and had an outstanding season as well and all of a sudden has become almost a fixture as part of that Harrington team. Yeah, like Shane's always been there in the background ever since he was um, an apprentice. Like he's always ridden for us and ridden work for us. And when Fran was even our uh, stable jockey, he was always second in command. So he's always been there. And then when Colin was there, he'd ride any of the second horses as well. And then when Colin moved on, um, Shane, it was a, na a natural progression that um, Shane wasn't attached to Mick anymore. And um, he came into our team. What are you looking forward to in the next sort of 12 months? Training more winners, mm. hopefully get another Cheltenham winner and um, a few nice jump horses there and um, of course looking forward to the classics next season obviously with the likes of Cadillac, Lucky Vega, um, Udna Data and the Phillies and um, Alpine Star comes back next year um, in training, One Voice, Valerie Messalina, like it's really really exciting and to, we're starting to build up a lot um, stronger team of older horses, which we haven't really had. We'd only have, say, a handful, six, seven older horses, where, whereas next year it looks like we're going to have a big team.